Hello, my smooners. Welcome back to being Mrs. S. Woohoo! Okay, so today's gonna be a quick one. Um, I'm just going to be answering some some questions I get asked a lot since I've been on my. Oh, before we forget, let's we gotta sing it. We gotta sing it, honey. We gotta sing it. Oh, 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 Zambic, you know. Oh. Oh, 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 Zampic, you know. Ooh. Well, I just added that little one, that little extra. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with this wig today. I think it looks okay, but whatever's. All right. Gotta sprinkle some BGM, some magic on you, my swimmers. All right, let's get into it. So, Ozamic has become like the buzzword or the insult word, or I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> now, whenever you see a celebrity on Twitter uh, and they, uh, celebrities posted, next thing you know, under the comments, they're like, oh, is she on Ozempic? Is she on Ozempic? As in, because she, maybe she looks smaller or she's lost weight so now that's the word for an insult and i'm like really people just oh you know there's the new boss word and everybody's using it it doesn't matter what it is like it, it it's annoying me the lack of authenticity that that is running around right now in this world anyway let's just let's get into it i'm gonna ask you some questions that um i've been asked a lot especially now that i have I think the weight loss is now visible. I think people are seeing it, noticing it now. So I don't know if it's that people are like, okay, so now I can take it seriously, or I don't know what it is, but these are the questions I'm getting asked now, um, now that I've reached this major threshold. Okay, so the number one question I get asked a lot is why are you taking Ozempic? Um, I think they start off with why are you taking Ozempic and then I'm like I maybe they notice the look on the face <laughs> and then they're like no, no no I mean why are you taking Ozempic and not Wagovi since Wagovi is the um, weight loss drug like that's the one that has been approved for weight loss right by the FDA okay so when, when I hear that part, I'm like, okay, well, it went from being a very stupid question to being a question that makes a little bit of sense. <laughs> so I'm taking Ozempic um, and not Wagovi because Ozempic is cheaper. That's it. Uh, I think when I started this uh, journey, my life on Ozempic, I... The, the one video that I put up, the first one I put up that, that I got a few complaints about the music and things like that, I'm sorry. I'm the one who does all the editing of, of my videos and things like that. And when I did it, it sounded decent. Um, and then I did a follow-up video, hopefully to kind of reiterate the things that I said in that video. But um, why did I bring that up? Yes, as I said, I did the research on this drug um, and the, the major, uh, the, 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 the one ingredient that is the, the, the actual drug is called semaglutide and semaglutide is, is in Ozempic, is in Wegovy, is in Rebelsis. Okay. They're exactly the same things. The only difference is the dosage and the way the drug is administered. Rebelsis is in a pill form. Um, so, so that one, 86, that all together. Uh, and, but Ozempic and Wagovi are exactly the same thing. The difference with Wagovi is that it has that additional 1.7 dose and the additional 2.4 uh, meg dose, which, okay. Um, do I really need? No, I don't think so. At this point, as I mentioned in my last video, I am on the two meg dose. Which is this is which is uh, this one, and that's the highest dose of Ozempic. So as I stated, uh, I am on Ozempic because when I 
went to see my doctor and my doctor prescribed Ozempic for me, I was under the impression that it was going to be covered by my insurance company. My insurance company uh, required a prior authorization and some other mess that, you know, at the end of the day, even after they are presented with those things, they still denied coverage. And then when I looked at the cost of Ozempic and the cost of Wagovi, which also I would have probably gone on Wagovi if my insurance company covered that as well, but they don't cover Wagovi. And so to that end, I am sticking with Ozempic. Ozempic is at least $300 less than Wagovi. And um, they are exactly the same drug. So that's the answer to why I am taking Ozempic and not well, Govi. Um, nobody asked me about. Oh, I think I also mentioned. Uh, someone asked me if I was going to jump over to Manjaro, which is the Eli Lili version of these drugs. Um, but I think the Manjaro is the Terzepatide, which has an additional, uh, the GIP uh, part as well, which, from what I've heard, is much better as far as results with the weight loss than Ozempic or Wagovi. I don't know how true that is. That's all I've heard. Um, I guess if I had started with Manjaro, I'd have probably stayed with Manjaro, but I started with Ozempic. Ozempic is the one that I did. I had done all this almost two years of research on before I decided to get on the drug, which I'm kicking myself because I probably should have gotten on it when I first heard about it because then the amount of weight I put on between that time, I probably wouldn't have put on that weight. But anyway, so I'm not going over to Manjaro. I am not going, the only time I considered going up in, in the dosage, because they call it the maintenance dose, the 2.4 from Wagovi. The only time I figured I, I considered doing that was because that's what they call it, the maintenance dose. And um, if I figured if this, the efficacy of this completely waned and it wasn't doing anything for me anymore yes maybe that i would go up to the the wigovi uh, 2.4 meg but as of right now this is working um progressively i am losing a lot more within the, the four four weeks uh space um, and so there isn't really a need for me to shift from Ozempic to Wagovi. So we are sitting pretty on the Ozempic to, uh, to Meg. The second question I get asked a lot is, um, am I working out? <laughs> and I, I sort of, every time I get asked that question, I'm like, are you watching my videos? <laughs> because I talk about it a lot. I am working out. I do, um, I switch it up a lot. When I first started um, trying to lose weight, that was what I was doing, the cardio, the treadmill, because I was too heavy, there wasn't a lot that I could do. I was doing mainly treadmill and every once in a while I'll throw in weights, right? Free weights and, and the pull downs and things like that because my BDD has, we have a gym downstairs. I think if you see one of my videos, you see. Um, the equipment we have there well that that's probably an old video because then we've added a rower and we've we've added a uh, treadmill which is mine and that's what i predominantly do prior to that we were walking outside and things like that but um so anyway when i first started i was on the treadmill every day religiously never stopped um i would i started off 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then I increased it to an hour. Um, for the past month, month and a half, for the past month, and maybe a month and a half, I've been doing one week on, one week off. And the one week on, one week off is based on what my diet is, or diet consists of for the week. So if I'm doing mostly carbs, then that's the week that I'm on. If I'm strictly on protein, like these 40 days of Lent, I have um, been mostly eating fish as my protein. Um, because for Lent, I typically give up meat. I didn't give it up so much. <laughs> um, this time, I mean, I did, as in I didn't have it every day, 
but um, yeah so if I was doing mostly a sandwich or or rice or things like that that for that week I would go to the gym and work out and if I'm not um, if I'm just doing my proteins which was predominantly for this past month was predominantly fish and mostly the white fish that are really low in calories cod haddock that's like a uh, hundred calories or, or 70 calories for four ounce um portion and slapia is i think 110 for the same portion uh so mostly the white fish and then every now and then i'll throw in the salmon uh and i forget what the calorie count on that is i know i'm talking about calories so the question is are you counting calories i've been on this weight loss thing for so long um and i think i told you guys once before i gained so much weight i think i talked out about the first time i lost the weight drastically i think it was 260 or, or 248 well i think i said counting from 248 but i think i topped out at 260 at that time and i lost all the weight and that i was on hcg so that being on that program caused me to count the calories you know to calculate my 500 calorie meals a day and then this time around i started trying to lose weight i was trying to do the 500 calories without the hcg and without the cutting off of so many different things because that diet was so restrictive so i didn't cut out anything and i was just i just reduced my calories to 500 uh, that was at the start of 220 which worked uh, and then I gave it up and then gave all this weight to where I tapped out to I was saying I topped out to 276.6 but to be honest with you I probably was a lot heavier than that but it was the day I got on the scale and I looked and I saw that weight I had already lost some weight prior to even that but when I saw that I couldn't believe it so um yeah so I because I've 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 been doing so much research on nutrition and things like that that just it's just part of me to to notice the caloric count in portions of food and things like that so I do work out one week on one week off oh come <laughs> I mean I just I'm sorry but it just popped into my head I know I never like to talk about my weight in between the um my uh, uh my my um catch up months or the months where i catch you guys up to my progress or you know my, my progress reports i know i don't like to talk about about my weight but i'm sorry i have to do it i am in wonderland i am in wonderland my smoothers i am under 200 pounds 200 pounds you guys it's ridiculous anyway let's get back i'm sorry i just have to throw it in there but um i got when i got on my scale yesterday i just just a smidge under 200 pounds and today i am officially 199 and it's ridiculous and i'm so excited even though it's probably going to get messed up today because my bdj and i are going out and um well we'll see we'll see what happens i shouldn't throw it i shouldn't throw that in so yeah, let's go back, get back to what I was talking about. Um, I am working out and I've been doing one week on, one week off. And now, this is why I, I had to throw in my Wonderland experience. Now, I think starting from Monday, I'm going to steady on with, uh, with the working out. Um, and maybe if I do the one week on, one week off. Um, oh, and I, I'm sorry, Let me. I, I almost forgot. Part of the reason I decided to do the one week on, one week off, which kind of had to do with the my diet, the carbs and things like that, was after I, I had the eureka moment about my slow digestive system. And I, I had said that I was going to eat maybe for two days, skip a meal, uh, skip a day and things like that. And that part of I think that worked into it so that was I, I now that I think about it that was part of the reason I was doing the one week on one week off but this has been 40 days of Lent so I had already 
I was already fasting, so to speak. So all of that kind of all tied in together. So that's that's that. Um, but now that I'm in Wonderland, I'm going to get back to working out daily and I'll probably do maybe cardio one day, the next day I'll just do strength uh, training, uh, mostly weights, light weights, five pounds, 10 pounds or whatever, nothing excessive because you wanna keep your body toned, build up your muscle tone. That also helps in um, keeping the fat at bay. Um, the th this, this question is the one I get asked the most. And this one is the one that came hot after I put up my last video talking about my 70 pound overall weight loss, but my 50, what is it? 52 or 53 point, whatever on Ozempic weight loss. Um, I got a lot of calls, phone calls about this text messages because when you hear that much of weight, you know, that's been shared, you're about like, wait, what? Especially people who are going through or trying to lose the weight and get, get through this whole crazy overweight phase of their lives. That's major. Five pounds is major, 10 pounds is major, but when we're talking about 50 pounds, 70 pounds, people are like, what are you talking about? You know, give me some of this juice. Let me hear what the story is, honey. Sprinkle me with that magic. Right? That's what people are saying. I get asked this question a lot. Um, you seriously do not have any side effects. You seriously never had any side effects. And I'm like, I haven't. And I've said that over and over again. This is why I knew this, this was the drug for me. I haven't had a single side effect. And I think the first time I talked about side effects, I had the side effects I was getting were not the things that were mentioned as part of the drug and, and, and you know, what to expect, uh, you know, <laughs> cause I've never had a side effect. Um, you know, it, it, I just haven't, sorry. So I no nausea, no constipation. I've had difficulty going. This has nothing to do with the drug. I've always been like that, even when I was in my skinny girl era. So, um, no, I haven't had any side effects and that's why I'm still on the drug. And the, the final question I get asked a lot is, um, do you plan on staying on Ozempic forever for the rest of your life this is a very good question i don't um i don't because it's expensive i don't uh because i anticipate that I, by the time i get to my goal weight Whatever it is, the issues, the perimenopause, mono, um, the perimenopause, menopause, uh, the stress, financial stress, you know, all those things that contributed or played a role to my not being able to make those reasonable decisions when it came to what I was putting in my mouth or how to stop eating and, and things like that. I'm hoping that during this process right now, I am getting a better understanding of my body now that I'm getting into this perimenopausal menopausal phase and I understand what triggers certain things. Um, I'm also getting a better understanding of how to deal with, with stress when I have, when there's an issue, when it comes to financial stress, that's the only stress that that's the one that gets me. Um, I feel like I will have a better understanding of how to deal with it and I will deal with that better. And then just overall, the, I, I'm hoping that since I haven't been so aggressive with the food that my brain and my body and my stomach will now understand um, 
you know you can survive on this much food you don't need that much more so that when i do get off of Zampig and maybe i try to push it those receptors are alive again because that's what the drug is doing right those receptions are those receptors are alive and are saying you know, slow down you know you're done you know you've, you've eaten enough so it's a great question uh, I don't plan because that's the question do you plan on staying on Ozempic forever I don't plan on staying on Ozempic forever however comma semicolon okay plus plus however if after I reach my goal and I get a Ozempic and I see that I don't have, I haven't grasped the concept as I thought I had. If I start gaining, uh, if I gain 20 more pounds than, you know, outside my normal um, weight range, and it's evident that it's because I cannot handle uh, just not overeating or eating the bad foods or things like that and i'm not i shouldn't say bad foods because as I, I think i mentioned to you guys i'm not cutting anything out i i i eat bread i eat everything processed not processed uh i'm eating food that i like so nothing is being cut out and i'm still losing the weight so i don't intend on cutting anything out I just I've learned to do things in moderation I eat my rice I eat my bread I eat my, my meat I eat everything so if I find that I am I've reverted to bad habits when it comes to food and things like that and and I I believe that I'm not able to handle it yes I will get back on Ozempic you heard it here first <laughs> I will get with a quickness on Ozempic, you know, or we'll go for you, whatever. And go straight to the maintenance dose because I've already done the two meg and, and I already know that I don't have, you know, the, those adverse side effects and things like that. I will go straight to the two point whatever dose and that's where I will be. But to answer the question, that's not my plan. My plan is not to stay on Ozempic forever. My plan is to reach my goal weight, hopefully um um get off ozempic and maintain my weight loss uh, uh, as best as i can and and um stay off it but if it is evident that i cannot handle it i will get back on ozempic so those are the main questions i get asked um a lot of the other questions i get asked i i have talked about uh, them on my videos so please if you're watching this for the first time or or catching a glimpse of me for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel just hit that sexy red button that says subscribe and subscribe already and go and look through my playlist i have the, my weight loss journey playlist and i have a playlist that is uh my life on ozempic uh playlist as well and you can catch up because I've been doing this uh, every weekend. I've, I put up a video and I have been giving you updates on how much weight I've lost every month at the end of every uh, four week cycle of the shots. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I have for you guys today. Those are the questions that I had um and, and i've answered and i'm just so excited because i have i am now officially under 200 pounds even though my app is still calling me obese class one thank you app don't worry about it i will soon be down in the overweight category and then down to the normal weight category so i'm not even mad keep calling me obese class one but um i'm under 200 pounds and counting so we're we're going I think I told you guys my goal is 140 pounds and then I moved it down to 130. I think I'm going to shoot for 130 because I can't remember the last time I was 130 pounds. Uh, so I'm going to shoot for 130 just to give me the buffer. If I gain 20 pounds at a, at a 130 weight, 
um, I'm still considered normal weight uh, for my height and all that. But anyway, thank you, my smooners, for joining me. Uh, as I said, like, share, share this video. If you if you have friends who are considering getting on semaglutide or zebutide, anything that has been known to have great effects on, um, you know, weight loss and, and help people lose weight and they're considering it, share my video with them so they can see what my experience has been. Again, uh, I, I don't, I'm not uh, a doctor. I don't prescribe anything. And the one true thing is that even though we're all the same, our bodies react differently to different things. So just because it's working out for me doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for the next person. As I told you guys in one of my other videos, I talked to a number of people who said they were on Ozempic and instead of losing weight, they gained weight. I honestly don't know how that's possible, but that's what they said. And, you know, I, from looking at them, maybe they're telling the truth. Um, so just because it works for me doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you, but who knows? You know, you can watch and see uh, and, and hear what my experience has been. And if you decide this is what you want to do, you try it out. I'm rooting for you. I'm here in your corner. You can get on my on my videos. You can send me questions. Ask me, you know, how this worked for me and things like that. And I'm showing, I'm sharing my tips and and all the things that I'm doing to um, be successful through this journey. So. Thank you so much, my Smooners, for joining me. Love you guys, and I will circle back.